Here we go. Rods. Skateboards. Surfboards all packed. Me and my middle child today. Gonna go find something. This is the second episode of Reconnect. To go fishing and surfing and no, skating. No, is... So how many animals have we spotted so far? I know counted. One, two, birds and cows. Now cows. Three, three. Cows are cows native to Australia? People brought cows over, they're not a native animal. You know, natives are like kangaroos, snakes. Oh, yeah. Um, native, because like even the sheep are native. Yeah, she's a dog, but dingoes are. And foxes. Foxes aren't, sorry. No, they, they were brought over too. Now the other thing we're gonna do on the, our trips with our connecting um, is we're going to be learning on our trips so we're going to go to certain parts and we're going to learn um, history aboriginal history as well and we're going to um, keep learning about all the animals and plants that we have here in beautiful australia now we're also working between the natives and non-natives um, so the Indian miner, now that's not a native, but a magpie is. So what's a magpie called in Bunjalang? Bunjalang. What class are you in? Wugalum. A Wugalum. That's a magpie, a Wugalum. There you go. tiny little ones. What do you reckon? So there is a little wave here. I think there's a compound of some sort. Um, but we're gonna go and try and get him on a little insider. Like that little insider there. Look that little one. See that one running? There's no one on it. Huh? Keen? Keen? Let's go. Ezra had a good surf at the pass. Couple waves, eh? Couple? Yeah, a couple. One good one. One good one. And then we go lunch and we head to the lighthouse and a quick walk for some ice cream. We'll show you some ice cream. What do you reckon? Burger? I agree. Burgers are better than hungry ducks? Mm. No? Same. Stay there. Stay baby. Oh, these all set up. So now, now we're going to get, in my opinion, the best ice cream on the north coast. What do you reckon? And we just came through the burgers straight to it in the pink. Let's go get some ice cream. Okay, best looking ice cream. And this is the best ice cream. The best ice cream. Mad Alley. Now this would have to be the best ice cream on the far north coast. Oh, this How's is that ice cream? good, but this is where you said the Chocolate north. Chocolate mint this is where and you said Mars bar. And what do you got? Banana honeycomb. Banana honeycomb. This is where you said Night creepy coming out. Mm -hmm. At night. We're having a bit of a cultural um, change today with Byron. It has this real stigma about this place and where we come from, there's none of this. Um, not that type of like wealth and 
starting to get bigger now, but Byron's on another level. So the boys got to see some different culture up here and shops and the way that money and my in my eyes greed takes over. A once beautiful spot. Anyway, we're off to the lookout eh after this. So we just had a chat with Arnie, yeah. She said it's pronounced, I think, correctly, Iraqal people. Yeah. And what was the totem for the Iraqal people up here? Do you remember? The dolphin. The dolphin. Um, forgot how to pronounce that one. Obviously being Aboriginal, being the oldest in the world. That's the main one we want to look at when we're here on country. So, welcome to Byron Bay and the lookout. Now the headland, I'll have to ask when we go back again, um, is actually a man's head. Looks like a man's head. And um, she was just a bit busy because some idiot parked in the emergency zone, so she had to go and move the car. Fishing wise, for kids, Byron Bay is not a very good fishing place for unless you can get the beaches. Um, rock fishing for myself, absolutely unbelievable. Some of the fish I know get caught up around here. Um, Obviously you got the morning tide boys there from here. Um Briggsy, Brooksy, Cabby. But for kids, most of Byron Bay is a marine park, so make sure you get online and you have a look around at the red zones so you don't get in trouble while you're fishing up here. Um, there's a few spots where they can culturally fish, but for uh, the average person it's either rock or beach there's no rivers um, and i can see why the place is so good for uh branding if you could get your brand in here you've obviously kind of made it that's about the most i've experienced in byron bay but yeah this is the lookout and it is beautiful there used to be goats when i was young when we come up here for school trips mountain goats all on these mountains i don't know they're all gone now all right let's go in here going into the center to have a look and see what we can read yeah i'd say so hey hiding in the fireplace what an insane photo uh, Lightning. It's insane. Some mad old tails. These are some uh, elders telling their stories of Byron Bay. Uh, Jingi Wala, we learned today, is welcome to their country, Byron Bay. Um, we've just seen some dolphins down here, which I believe was totem for the women and then the men had an uh, eagle and a snake. We've done a little bit of learning on the Julian rocks too. Um, I can't pronounce the name it's like nothing gully. Oh, I, I don't know how to say it properly but um, I learned that there's sort of two stories to that. Um, one was that the all-seeing creator um, yeah, stuck them there and, and it's a resting place nothing gully but um, the second story was um, that there was a, a guy and a girl that were in love and there were the parents rough they'd ran into the sea to, so they could be together and um, they were frozen and turned into stone the things I'm teaching the young fella. All right, let's go. We're gonna head off now. We're on a skate park. Pump track. Let's go. Is 
it just me or do a lot of people in Byron Bay just have time to walk? It just seems like they're all just walking. I don't know anywhere in particular, but they just have a lot of time to walk. Hey, hey what do we got here? Pump track. The next best thing about uh, Byron Bay, they have a pump track in a little hidden spot. Um, not no one here, so we're gonna go hit it together on some uh, weird skateboards that I brought. The pump track, look at it. And I'm on a surf skate, and he's on a little surf skate. This thing, I'm probably gonna get hammered. Here we go. Trip, a little bit of fishing somewhere we haven't fished before. Oh, he's got the bee. Hey, there you go. 